Tonight, the United States is flexing its military muscles as a powerful and urgent warning to Russia. Our senior international correspondent, Fred Plykin, is in Italy for us after getting exclusive access to the mission. Uh, Fred, you were on board as U.S. warships deployed to the Mediterranean. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Wolf. And of course, all this comes after the Russians have been beefing up their presence in the Arctic, in the Black Sea, and very much in the Mediterranean Sea as well. And now the U.S. with its own show of force deploying two Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. Here's what we saw on board. Tonight, an exclusive look as the U.S. military sends a message of deterrence to Russia, moving two aircraft carriers to the Mediterranean, and in a rare move, bringing America's ambassador to Moscow, John Huntsman, on board. A clear signal to Russia. When you have 200,000 tons of diplomacy that is cruising in the Mediterranean, this is what I call diplomacy. This is forward deployed diplomacy. Uh, nothing else needs to be said. You have all the confidence you need when you sit down and you try to find solutions to the problems that have divided us now for many, many years. CNN was on board as the USS Abraham Lincoln and the John C. Stennis are going to conduct operations on a scale unseen here since 2016. Our senior leadership has mandated that uh, our Navy become more lethal, more tactically proficient. It's very important in the, uh, the era of competition that we're in. All this in an area where Russia is trying to expand its influence, deploying more warships and submarines with cruise missiles. The U.S. military is extremely concerned about Russia's increasingly strong military posture in this region. And with this deployment, America is making clear to Moscow that it... Even as President Trump's associates claim there was nothing wrong with his campaign seeking information stolen by Russian military intelligence in the run-up to the 2016 election, the U.S. Navy is also assuring America's allies that it won't waver on commitments to protect against Russian aggression. A Spanish ship even sailing as part of the carrier strike group. We're not going to be deterred uh, by any potential adversary, and uh, we are going to support our interest as Americans and also those of our allies as we steam throughout the world. With Russia increasingly assertive in the entire northern Atlantic and Arctic region, the U.S. Navy is putting on its own show of force for the Kremlin to clearly see. Mm. And of course, the Russians themselves trying to wolf uh, cement their presence in the Mediterranean Sea, trying to sign a long term lease for a port in Syria to make sure they can keep their warships and their submarines in that area as well. Wolf. Lots of signals coming from the U.S. Uh, Fred Plykin, thanks for that exclusive report. Just